Hi guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch. So here we are, a beautiful, beautiful winter morning, uh, mid-December. It's going to be Christmas pretty soon. I'm looking forward to that. I expect some really good presents. That's why I have so many kids and grandkids. They get more junk. And <laughs> but uh, it is a beautiful day. It's just gorgeous. There's no wind today, which is awfully nice. It's not stupidly cold. It's probably about, I don't know, 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's Fahrenheit. And uh, just a gorgeous day. Sun shining, frost on the trees. Did you take some pictures of everything, Kevin? Oh, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to show you this because this is something that we did just a little while ago and it made our UTV. These are called, these machines are called, we have ATVs as well. We call them bikes. This would call a buggy. But the UTV is a, you, uh, what's it called? Utility. All train, yeah, utility whatever, UTV, or side-by-side. -side. Some people call them side-by-sides, buggy. This is a Polaris Ranger. All the different big companies make, they make these machines, and, and, uh, and they're all very similar. So, but we, we uh, use this a lot, a lot. We use it for, for, for cleaning up scrap, uh, garbage, uh, 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 garden refuse. Uh, we use it for hauling wood in the wintertime. You've seen our woodshed. We use it for hauling wood. We, oh, I use it for all kinds of things. And, and the, the, the um, the uh, the box, we're going to call it a box, that's not too bad. Tailgate on here, just like a pickup truck drops down. It actually tips, it's kind of neat. You've probably have seen these. <clears throat> so you can actually clean it, you can dump it and clean it. <clears throat> so you see it tips right back, which is nice. You can clean it and put it back up. So it actually works really, really well. But the problem is, when it comes from the factory, when you first get it, <clears throat> The box is quite low. You take a C, a C in there, Kevin, there's not a foot. There's not a foot of depth. So if you have a lot of refuse, that like your, you know, old hay or, or, or garden scraps or branches from trees and so on, you can't really get that much in here. So we were struggling a little bit. We were using, piling it up and then using bungee cords or ropes or so on to pull it down to, to get enough in here to make it worthwhile. And if you're carrying a load of wood, well, you can't get much wood in here, you know, 20, 25 sticks of wood, which is only good for a couple of days, isn't very much. So I finally got tired of it, and I said, okay, I'm going to make this, uh, this uh, box more useful. And I did. Took me about two hours, cost me, I think, 20 bucks. And now we have a box that's actually useful. You can see now, Kevin, how much taller it is. Can you see there? It's uh, more than double the height. So now we have, I got to guess, that's better part of two feet, uh, you know, in that area anyway. And, and it's actually useful now. So I, I put it, now, what I wanted to do though, besides not build the box, I wanted to make it very, very useful. It had to be cheap and useful. Let me get my walking stick out of the way here. This is my walking stick. Did I talk about this kit when we were, stick when we were doing the wood? Yeah, my four foot stick so I can measure logs. Get that out of the way. But these, these, these boxes usually come or some kind of a, a hole along the side. Now I haven't seen the other models, so I can't be, I can't be sure. But I'm, I, I got to believe they have something similar to this. So it was really very simple. I got a bunch of doweling like this, same doweling, hardwood doweling, and I, 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 it goes down there. I decided on the height, and I cut them off, and then I got some plywood, cut the plywood to the right shape, and I got some. Uh, carriage bolts. These are called carriage bolts. So you guys from the country know what a carriage bolt is. It's, it, it, it goes in on one side and hammers into the wood so it doesn't turn. And then on the outside, <clears throat> you drill through and you put a washer and a nut on there. And, and it's just that simple. So look, I just doubled the size of the box. Okay? Just that easy. <clears throat> I guess that noise is awfully loud in the microphone, isn't it, Kevin? You see, and one person can do this, and there, there's the old original box. You gotta believe this is a lot more useful. So, a couple small things they did. <clears throat> First of all, I made these outside corners. I curved them a little bit because we had a sharp corner on there originally. You could curve that a little bit. Maybe that's natural. You, everybody would think about that, but curve them a little wee bit. And then, <clears throat> secondly, uh, I, I painted the whole thing with a with a kind of a stain. We use a lot of that reddish brown stain around the ranch. <clears throat> it's cheap. It goes on like a wash. It's not thick like a paint. It's more like a it's more like a wash. I would call it. Uh, uh, what do you call that white stuff they use? White wash. But it goes on like a wash. But it preserves the wood. 
Now you know something else, small thing, I did this afterwards as well. I took my um, belt sander and each of these dowels came up sharp and I made some sharp corners on here. I knew I was going to cut my hands eventually. I don't know why it is, but as I'm getting older, I'm in my 70s now, as I'm getting older, I find every time I touch something, it cuts. So I rounded all these off a little bit too. And then the last thing I did, <laughs> you ready for this? I took a hammer <clears throat> and I pounded the heck out of these, these, these uh, bolts that are sticking out. I didn't use lock washers on there. I drew them in really tightly. I made sure they were cut off, <clears throat> but then I took a hammer and pounded them. Two reasons for that. First of all, I won't cut myself on the sharp edge. And secondly, the nut can't come off. Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna make something that's gonna take constant maintenance, things coming apart and breaking and everything else. So that's what I did. There's some, some ideas for you. If you, have a, if you have a buggy, a UTV, a side-by-side, -side, whatever you call it, uh, uh, and you use it around the ranch, I'm sure you do, they're really, really helpful. Uh, and, uh, and you wanna increase the size of your box to make it more useful, there's some ideas. Bit of plywood, some hardwood dowels, bolts, carriage bolts, and nuts and washers, and you're all set to go. Anyway, Kevin and I are heading off into the bush. Pick up some logs that I cut yesterday. Okay, okay, Kevin, I'll get the heater started. <laughs> we'll have some fun. Beautiful day in the winter. You guys have a good Christmas, a good holiday season, and a good winter. And we'll talk to you again real soon. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Mm -hmm.